What's up? Neckrace here from the Ornithul, doing a video for the Devotion Tree in Arcage. It's also known as Vitalism in the US and EU release of Arcage. Um, this is your main healer tree. It's also got resurrection in it and um, a little bit of damage. So, okay, here we go. First ability, Light and Darkness. It da it's also uh, your heal and your damage. So, two in one. Cast, there's some damage. Um, five second cooldown, then you can use it to heal yourself. Light and darkness, boom, heal. Second ability is a buff debuff. Uh, it removes a debuff on an ally, and then for three minutes it increases the amount of healing they receive by 15%. On enemies, it will root them for three seconds and increase the damage they received. And reduce their healing, so hold up. There you go. Damage taken increased by 12%. Healing effectiveness is reduced by 30%. And they get a small root. Quick root. Um, flowing Life is a... A hot. Put it on yourself and it heals you over time. Fourth ability is Resurrection. Um, brings back to target with 80% health and mana. You can only use it when out of combat. And wherever you're standing when you cast the res is where the player will be teleported to when they uh, come back to life. Um, the fifth ability in the tree is Circle of Spears. Um, choose the location where you're going to cast it. does damage and it um, impales the targets, which is a stun. Pretty nice. Circle of Spears takes some casting and then boom. Target stun and it does some damage. The uh, group heal is just what it sounds like. A big AoE heal. Boom. That affects your entire uh, raid. It also gives you a uh, charge of spirit which can be used to um, combo with some other abilities you got. Reduces the uh, all the charge of spirit combos in here. Reduces the cooldown time of all the abilities. The next ability, Energy Cycle. Mana Hand. Mana Injection. It gives mana to your friendly target or yourself. It costs 686 mana and it gives you 772 to 840. So you can use it on yourself and it'll actually give you a little more mana than it cost. Not much, but it's obviously better on an ally who's missing a decent amount of mana. Um, next ability is an Intellect and Willpower buff. Cast on your entire raid. Lasts for 30 minutes. Very, very good to have. Seed of Restoration. Um, cast that on someone. Now it's on me. And when I get hit, there's a 15% chance to heal 795 health. Um, it's not too much, you know, it's not a high chance, but it's still it's good. It's worth it in PvP because you cast it on yourself and you just forget it. As you can see, it did pop. Um, so yeah, let's try to get it to pop one more time. But uh, it's good because you, 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 you throw it on yourself in PvP. Just came off. And then you can uh, continue to do other stuff and get heals. So it's good. It's good to have. It's good to throw on your main tank in PvE for sure. And throw out some other heals. Anyway. Next heal is um, Continuous Recovery. This is probably the most overpowered heal in the game. People will grab this with uh, other trees. They won't even be a healer, but they'll be kind of tanky, high survivability, and then they'll just do this. Let me get my health low, and I'll show you how... Oh, it popped. The, um... The Seed of Restoration popped, but anyway. Okay, my health's low. Watch this. Oh, he's about to beat me. Continuous recovery. Back to full health, like, almost instantly. Continuous recovery lets you heal five times before it goes on cooldown. Um, it increases the cost, the mana cost, every time you use it by 25%, but in addition, heals 25% more. So it is, it is strong. It's pretty nasty. Um, the last ability is, um, is, uh, Twilight. It lets you stealth yourself and your allies. 60 seconds, you cast, but you can't move. Your friends can, your allies can, and as you see, it stealthed the stealthed the mount next to me. Um, 
this can do it to an infinite amount of people as long as they're your ally. And you can kind of, I don't know, use this near a trade package or something if you know the, the enemies are coming to Liberty Island, you're sitting near a trade package, turn in, you just got like 10, 20 people just waiting for them, and then they get a little close, and you just break! And you break the effect, and everyone goes and attacks them, and you get a nice initiation surprise on them. Um, passives. First passive is 7% of the damage you deal will be returned to you as mana. It's nice to keep your mana up if you want to do some uh, damage. If the caster is critically hit, the cooldown of all devotion skills will be reset. Cannot occur more than once every 20 seconds. It's not bad. Third one uh, increases your willpower by 9%. Helpful. Fourth one is probably the best. Increases the healing done by many, many, many heals in the tree by 15%. It's good. Last one is actually really good. It's uh, increases the magical defense of the uh, caster, well, whoever has it, and all his allies by 500. It's it's good. It's nice. Helps a lot and um, makes a big difference in survivability, especially against especially for your plate wearers like myself on my main character. Um, plate wearers, plate wearers don't have a lot of magical defense, so helps out a lot. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. If anyone's looking for a, uh, a really, really awesome guild for Arcage, you are welcome to go to our uh, website, visit us, fill out an application, and uh, hopefully I uh, hear from you guys. You're welcome to stop and team speak and all that. Anyway, please subscribe, watch all my other videos, all that good crap. Thanks for watching.